Mastering Formal English. A deep dive into sentence structure. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to focus on an essential aspect of formal writing, the sentence structure. The right sentence structure is crucial in conveying your message clearly and accurately in formal situations. So, let's unravel the secrets of formal sentence structure, and with practice, you'll soon be writing like a pro. Formal English sentence structure typically follows the standard subject-verb-object (SVO) format. In these sentences, we usually avoid contractions, like isn't, haven't, etc., slang, and colloquial expressions. Formal writing also prefers full sentences rather than fragments or run-on sentences. Take a look at these examples. Informal. He's not coming to the meeting because he's sick. Formal. He is not attending the meeting because he is ill. The differences are subtle, but crucial. The formal sentence avoids contractions and uses a more formal word, attending, instead of, coming, ill, instead of, sick. The best way to understand formal sentence structure is to practice. So, here are some writing exercises you can do. 1. Rewrite informal sentences. Find examples of informal writing, perhaps from your own past work or from informal articles or blog posts. Try to rewrite these sentences in a formal style. 2. Write formal responses. Imagine different formal situations where you need to write a response. It could be an email to a client, a letter to a university, or a report for school. 3. Practice using advanced vocabulary. Use a thesaurus to find more formal synonyms for everyday words. Then write sentences using these words. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, keep practicing these exercises to improve your understanding of formal sentence structure. Let's go through some examples and solutions together to help you understand better. 1. Informal. I'm really sorry, but I can't make it to your party because I've got to study for an exam. Formal. I regret to inform you that I will not be able to attend your party as I must prepare for an upcoming examination. 2. Informal. Thanks for sending me the info. It's pretty useful. Formal. Thank you for providing the information. It is quite beneficial. Try to observe the changes and apply these principles in your exercises. That's all for today's lesson. We hope that these tips and exercises help you grasp the essence of formal sentence structure. Remember, learning is a continuous process, so don't be discouraged if you don't get it right the first time. Keep practicing, and you'll surely improve. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more English language learning videos. Happy learning, and we'll see you in the next video.